Hello students, welcome to All About Nursing channel. So today's video is going to about the nursing care plan on pneumonia. Or uh, along with that, there is the case study or case presentation on pneumonia is there. Okay. So so for the pneumonia that I already told in my previous video for nursing care plan or case study, we have to start the uh, start our uh, nursing care plan or case study from the identification data of the patient. Okay. So identification data, the points are same as previous video. So the name of the patient, the age, sex, okay, date of admission, so all should be written. Under doctor, name of the operation, date, date and time of operation, that should be written. Okay, after that, there is chip complaint on admission and at present. So uh, in case of pneumonia, uh, there can be chances of uh, fever, that is uh, productive cough is there, shortness of breath, generalized weakness, those are the common symptoms of pneumonia so that can be present uh, in, in the patient who are suffering from pneumonia or lower respiratory tract infection okay so in case of uh, this uh, patient uh, who is admitted uh, with the pneumonia the patient has the problem of complaint of fever and since how many days the patient is suffering from this problem that should be written clearly and uh, mild softness of uh, shortness of breath generalized weakness productive cough so all symptoms uh, for how many days or how many uh, time the patient is suffering duration should be mentioned next is the uh, at present now when you get the patient the uh, is uh, which type of symptom patient have that should be written so patient uh, admission hoye chilo tokhon ki symptoms chilo ebong jokhon uh, patient ke peyecho tokhon ki symptoms ache seta so now uh, she has a problem of shortness of breath and pneumosepsis and septic shock Okay, so then the present history, medical and surgical, medical patient has the problem of hypertension or any diabetes mellitus or any any other disease like uh, coronary artery disease. So, any kind of uh, disease that is present in the patient uh, or hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism, so any kind of disease that should be mentioned and from how many days among which type of treatment or medicine patient is getting, so that should be mentioned in the medical history. The surgical history, if the patient is uh, has, uh, has undergone any surgery or not, that should be mentioned. Then the past history, medical, nothing significant, surgical, uh, in case of, according to your patient, that should be written. Socioeconomic history, in housing, ventilation, water supply, sanitation, that are common. Uh, all, 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 the, all of the headings are common, okay. The personal history, uh, diet history, allergic history, addiction sleep pattern, bowel and bl uh, bladder habits that should be written, the family history, any hereditary disease is there or not, genogram, so that should be written. So next, the physical assessment of the patient, head to foot examination, height, weight, blood pressure, pulse, respiration, temperature, SpO2 level, okay, level of consciousness, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, so according to that, in which area patient has the problem that should be written in case of nursing care plan you don't have to write the detail you can write only the abnormal areas means in which area patient has the problem like in case of pneumonia you can write in the chest that is in inspection in the palpation or in the uh, auscultation the uh, there can be abnormal lung sounds due to the pneumonia there can be chances of crepitations uh, can be there or crackles uh, those are the uh, adventitious lung sounds or abnormal lung sounds that is present in the pneumonia patient so that should be written okay respiratory depth rate rhythm that should be written clearly so uh, next you can write you have to write the investigation that is diagnostic test that, that can be uh, in case of pneumonia patient the abg analysis arterial blood gas analysis ph po2 pco2 those are those levels are the important level that parameters uh, helps to identify if there is hyperventilation or hyperventilation is there or not. Then the biochemistry like uh, blood urea nitrogen, creatinine, CRP, C-reactive protein due to the infection, uh, potassium, sodium level. And then the urine test you can uh, in case of patient you can get. Uh, then the chest X-ray that uh, that that shows the inflamed lung parenchyma. Then in case of uh, my patient, that is echocardiogram is there and the nutritional therapy. Then you have to write the medication. So in case of nursing care, nursing care plan, you, 
uh, it is not uh, necessary or uh, compulsory that you have to write the explanation of the medicine so uh, you can write only the name of the medicine the dose route and frequency of the uh, which is getting by the patient okay so patient ki ki medicine pache chhara tumi only the name dose route frequency likhte paro in case of nursing care plan if you write the case study or case presentation in on pneumonia so you have to explain the medicine by the uh, mode of action the side effects and uh, and the nurse responsibility okay so next coming to the point that is the nursing management so the nursing care plan so the nurse so the nursing care plan uh, should be based on the patient's problem so patient has the fever uh, patient has shortness of breath so we can write the ineffective breathing pattern the first diagnosis can be ineffective breathing pattern okay ineffective breathing pattern related to pneumonia uh, pulmonary infection or pneumonia and potential for long term scarring with a decreased lung capacity so the subjective can be and the patient says that uh, i can't breathe properly okay i have uh, difficulty in breathing so and the objective the respiration rate rhythm and pattern like respiration rate is 25 that is more okay uh, so depth is increased or not uh, shallow respiration or not so first respiration is there so that should be mentioned okay then the goal is to improve the breathing pattern of the patient then we can do we can we have to check the respiratory status then we have to provide a uh, well ventilated room and provide patient a, a rest a suitable position comfortable position like high fallers position we can provide semi to 60 degree to 90 degree angle um, of the bed and patient to provide a uh, patient should be uh, provide oxygen should be there oxygen should be administered to uh, compensate or to meet the demand of the oxygen okay so we can provide oxygen through uh, mask nasal mask or we can provide oxygen if the, that is not managed with the mask we can pro, we can uh, go for the non invasive ventilation that is niv that is uh, bipap cpap or if it is not managed with the bipap cpap we have to do the intubation or the mechanical ventilation through which we can provide the oxygen to the patient saturation can be main, maintained okay next diagnosis can be fever or hypothermia increased body temperature or elevated body temperature related to presence of infection in the lungs as evidenced by patient body temperature that is 100 degree fahrenheit or 99 so uh, in case of fever management we all know that you have to check the uh, body temperature pulse rate because in case of fever there is increase in the pulse rate tachycardia can be there so uh, we can do the um, we have to provide or lose the cloth of the patient loosen the clo- clothes well ventilated room then we can uh, do the sponge bath uh, sponge bath we can provide tepid sponging or we can provide analgesic uh, sorry antipyretics okay to manage the temperature so other than that we can write activity intolerance okay imbalance nutrition less than body requirement related to pneumonia so in that case we can write Okay. Other than that, we can write that I told that is imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirement related to poor appetite or productive calf. Okay, so we have to pro- check the nutritional status by BMI calculation. Okay, uh, we provide small, frequent diet, easy, easy digestible food. Okay, high protein, high calorie diet. Okay, then we can <coughs> write activity intolerance that I told. Uh, it is the sleeping pattern related to productive calf okay so that type of diagnosis we can write in case of patient uh, under uh, who are suffering from pneumonia okay that is inability breathing pattern decreased cardiac output we can write due to the lack of oxygenation there is uh, uh, we can write that dec- uh, impaired cellular tissue perfusion due to the lack of ox- uh, oxygen concentration that can lead to impaired cellular tissue perfusion also okay.